Hello family, so in this video we are going to learn how to create a EC2 machine with the help of the Terraform. Now this video is in the continuation of the last video. In the last video we have learned like how to get a EMI ID. Now we have the EMI ID with us. That is something we are going to use in order to create our EC2 machine. So here is the code uh, in my GitHub account. Uh, I will give you the link. It's a public repository so you can use this code from here and do the demo okay now let me go here um, I'm in my EC2 console let me click on instance and here let me click on the launch instance so the AMI think we have AMI ID we have now now the next thing which we require let me go here that is the instance type so let's see how we can give this information with the help of the Terraform now here I am in my Visual Studio so this is my provided.tf where I have my access key and the secret key again this is not the correct way to provide the access key and the secret key there are other ways as well to follow my last to last video so that you will get idea how to provide the access key and the secret key in more secure way this is I am just doing a demo and I am going to delete these credentials before I am going to upload my video into the YouTube so don't worry even if you get access to this access key and the secret key you are not going to do anything because this thing I'm going to delete okay now the next one is the main.tf and the variable.tf as of now I don't have anything in the main.tf and I don't have in the variable.tf now I need to create a resource so what I need to do is I need to go to Terraform official documentation so AWS EC2 instance terraform here we have so let me copy this thing and let me paste it in the main.tf now here we have the instance information and the AMI ID that is the data dot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that value from my terraform code okay let me copy this code from here and to supply this thing what I need to do is I need to use this thing so let me expand this thing so that you will able to see data AWS AMI and then I need to change this thing to Amazon Linux 2 then I okay and I'm also going to change this instance type to t2 micro now this is something I'm getting you know automatically with the help of the data but if you want to assign this thing let's suppose you have the AMI ID let me go to the previous window and you have the AMI ID this is the AMI ID you already have with you so what you can do is you can also provide this thing here like this okay. AMI equal to like this or you can use the variable option now how to use the variable option so for that you need to create one variable so variable here the name is ami underscore id the type is going to be the string and the default value is going to be this this is ami id whatever the description you want to give let me save this thing and here you can give something like what dot ami id this ami id is the same thing which you provided it here okay so that's it now you have couple of ways the first one is with the help of the data source if you want to get the AMI ID dynamically if you already have the AMI ID you can provide here like this and if you want to provide with the help of the variable you can provide it with the help of the variable as well now variable is the more uh, common way I'm going to say to provide the IDs here because you know you know whenever we need to change something in our code we are not going to change in the exact code what we are going to do is we are going to change it in the variable.tf file so that is more recommended way when we need to do the changes okay so here we can go with either way we can go with this way 
or we can go with this way so let me um, go with the first way let me uncheck this one okay now next is the instance type again i am providing the value here t2.micro but we do have the option where i can provide this value in the variable so i need to create one variable now here we need to give instance type this is again going to be the string and t2.micro okay and description you can provide instance type information okay let me save this thing let me go to the main.tf and i can change this thing with the variable now what dot instance type now what exactly this value is this value is this so whatever the value you give here you need to provide this value here okay now we have the tag so again you can use the what dot tag as well if you want to i'm not going to do that now the next thing which i need to do is i need to save these two files let me save it save it okay now let me create it so terraform in it that is the first command i need to run and after that i need to run terraform plan okay we have a error message now where exactly we have the error message in line number 24 so let's see what exactly the line number 24 is so 24 is this instance type okay has not been declared okay the spelling is not correct instance i n s t a n e okay let me check in the variable i yes so see there is a spelling mistake so let me correct the spelling okay let me go with the terraform plan one more time great now let's see the values now here the resource it is going to create the web from where it is picking this name from here web okay now the next thing miid is this 36 e8 now from where it is getting the emi id from this from this data value okay and after that t2 micro now from where this value is coming from the variable see t2 micro and yes everything seems to be correct now here it is telling me plan is 1 to add, 0 to change, 0 to destroy. So what it is going to do is it is going to create a machine for me. I don't want to create a machine right now, but let's do some changes in the variable.tf file. So in the variable.tf file, I have the instance type, which is a t2.micro. Let me change this one to t3.micro, save it, and let's see with the Terraform plan. Now here... If I scroll up a bit t3.micro so now this is the benefit of the variable you have not changed anything in your main.tf where exactly you have done the changes in the variable.tf the code remain the same the code is this what dot instance type so whatever the instance type value here it is going to pick that value so that is the benefit of the variable.tf file okay now let's suppose at the time of creation of the machine i also need to use a startup script startup script in the sense like the user data now from where we have the option from the console like if i am creating a machine i am in my aws console here i am selecting the first one here i am going with the t2.micro and in the third one where i need to select the network and the subnet information if i scroll down i have the user data information now this place I'm going to use in order to provide any of the startup script startup script in the sense let's suppose I need to install Apache server let's suppose I need to install any software at the time of the launching of the machine I need to provide that value in the user data the same thing I can use with the terraform as well now how we can do it with the terraform again we need to use the user data only so how to provide the user data so that is something we can check the documentation for that so I am in the official documentation of the Terraform. Now here let's see how we can use the user data. So let me search and 
type user data now here we have user data okay now here it says it's a optional thing if you want to provide or if you don't want to provide that is an optional thing now let's see how we can provide this thing so let me copy this thing user data in the same format let me go to my code user underscore data yes it's a correct format now the next thing which I need to give here let's suppose I need to provide my script here and my script is a Linux script which start from bin bash but there is a way to provide that information in the terraform and the way is we need to go with the end of the file eof eod kind of thing now if you are not sure what exactly this thing is that's okay that's absolutely fine i will tell you the how you can provide that thing so here is my script user data this is the script let me copy this thing from here let me go to the main.tf paste it user data so it starts with n e o f and ends with e o f so whatever we have it here that is in a file okay now what exactly this thing is doing it is a bash script okay now the first thing it is going to update the Linux then it is going to install the HTTPD then it is going to enable the HTTPD then it is going to start the HTTPD service and after that it is going to create one of the index.html page where in this location this is the default location whenever we are installing the HTTPD so it get installed in what www.html now here is the content welcome to my channel please do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed okay now let me save this thing and let me go with the terraform plan now here in the terraform plan if i scroll up it is telling me the user data but it is not telling me the exact user data information so that's okay that's absolutely fine but the user data value is there okay now let me do the changes t2 micro okay and one more thing i need to change that is the key pair there is no key pair information i have provided so i also need to provide the key pair information so for that let me go to the official documentation and let's see how we can provide the key name like this key underscore name and I already have the key pair with me so from where I will get detail of the key pair if I go to my EC2 console now here I have the key pair information so let me copy one of the key pair that is today underscore demo and let me provide this value here okay. Oops. okay that's fine let me save this thing as of now if the key pair name i'm going to check there is nothing here now let me go with the terraform plan one more time okay specify the resource name reference to the resource name must be followed by at least one attribute access okay that's okay see the key pair name key pair name key pair name here today dot demo now if i'm going to go with the terraform apply it is going to create a machine for me i don't want to create a machine right now because there are couple of information which are missing right now the information i'm talking about is the security group and the vpc details so for that what we are going to do is we will go to the next video in the next video i will explain the, how you can create a vpc and how you can assign that value while creating a aws ec2 machine
इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू